No, 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 no. 29. No, no. 29. No, no. My, 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 okay, my watch is no good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, afternoon everybody, thanks for coming. Um, back to our usual format, broadcast first and any internationals agencies are here and then we'll break for dailies and then we'll do a Sunday's briefing as well. Ian, please lead us off. Antonio, hello there. Hello. Um, who is not available for this weekend? Mm. Only, only two players, and uh, Eden Hazard and uh, Bakayoko. Yeah, they are working uh, to try to to recover uh, very soon, but they are not uh, available for uh, for tomorrow's game. Do you think they will be available for the first Premier League match on the no. weekend? No, honestly, no. It's uh, too early. Yes, we have to. To wait uh, to to have patience and uh, yeah, and for sure they are improving a lot. Uh, his physical condition and he's recovering very well from their injuries, uh, but uh, they are not still ready to start uh, the season. Can you clarify those injuries for us? No, the problem about uh, you know very well uh, about uh, about uh, hidden uh, was uh, an ankle problem, and uh, uh, yeah, after a, a surgery, uh, it's important to uh, to respect the right time to to recover, and the same for uh, Bakayoko because also Bakayoko uh, had a, a, a surgery uh, in his uh, in his knee. But I repeat, uh, we are. Uh, 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 we are hoping to, to recover very well, and uh, uh, the work uh, is doing very well. How do you look on this match against Arsenal? After what happened in the, the Cup final, is there a bit of a score to settle? Yeah, and uh, I have for sure it, it was a pity uh, to, to lose the game, to lose the, uh, the final, uh, the FA Cup final against, uh, against Arsenal. After uh, a really great season for 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 us, uh, yeah. Now there is another game, and uh, we know very well that Arsenal is a strong team, and uh, yeah, we are waiting uh, a game uh, very difficult for us, and we want to try to start the season with with a win. But I think the same Arsenal. And uh, yeah, I hope I hope to see a good game uh, for for the players uh, for, uh, for for the people. How do, how do you look on on this match? Um, in the English football calendar, it, it doesn't count as a competitive match, is it? Um, do you look at it as a, as a friendly, or is it your final preparation for for the Premier League season? Mm. How do you approach it? In other yeah. countries, it's, it's called a Super Cup. But yeah. Yeah, I think uh, uh, friendly game uh, are ended for us, and uh, this is an official game. Uh, this is the first trophy in uh, in this season. I think uh, is uh, is an important game, and for us, uh, for sure, I think uh, uh, Chelsea and Arsenal. Uh, um, we are not uh, in. Uh, uh, in the best form, no, in the best form because uh, uh, we are in the first part of the season. Uh, we work uh, very hard. I think the same uh, uh, Arsenal, but uh, for sure, uh, and, uh, we want to play a really good game with uh, a good intensity and uh, <coughs> and also to prepare uh, um, the start of the the season after uh, six days. All the football at the moment is talking about Neymar. About his move from Barcelona to PSG for 200 million pounds. What do you make of it? What do you think of it? Mm, yeah, <laughs> it's a, a difficult, a difficult topic, no? I, uh, uh, I think uh, Neymar is one of the best players in the world, and uh, yeah, for sure, all, all this type of player finished. Uh, their career uh, in the same team, 
otherwise uh, uh, if they uh, decide to change and uh, we must be ready to to accept this amount of money because uh, i repeat uh, for a normal player now uh, uh, you must be ready to to spend uh, 40 50 million uh, pounds for a normal player if uh, if you want to to buy a, a top player uh, yeah, I think uh, you must be ready to to spend uh, to spend this money, and uh, but uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's a, a difficult difficult topic, and for sure is a, a it's impressive, no? It's an impressive amount of money, uh, two hundred uh, uh, million of pounds, and uh, but uh, if uh, PSG is uh, is able to do this, uh, and uh, uh, why not? Can Chelsea compete at that kind of level? Mm, but uh, I, n n now for, for us, uh, uh, it's very it's very important uh, to to try to to improve uh, our squad uh, above all under uh, numerical aspect because uh, uh, we have a small a small squad, and I think uh, uh, only one player is not enough to improve uh, our team. We need uh, more players with uh, not of top level like uh, like Neymar, but uh, more players to improve our uh, our squad, uh, to improve our quality, and also uh, our squad under n numerical aspect. Because I repeat, uh, now uh, we are a few players. There was a suggestion that maybe Chelsea were interested in Neymar earlier this summer. Is, is that true? No, I don't know. I don't know. Um, you talk about needing more than one player. How many players do you think you will need before the end of the, the transfer window? And how close are you to perhaps getting those players that you want? Mm -hmm. I, I think I think the best way and uh, and also to to speak uh, uh, about about the club and uh, and to try to find the the right solution and uh, it's important for me that the club uh, knows my my opinion about uh, about the number that we need uh, I think it's not right to uh, to tell uh, to tell this uh, through the, the the press and also because uh, if I tell uh, one, two, three, four, uh, doesn't change. And uh, the most important thing is that the the club knows my my opinions, and uh, they are trying to to do uh, the best uh, for uh, for uh, for our for our team for our squad. And uh, now we have uh, we have to wait. We must be we must have patience, and then to try to to improve our team our squad. Barcelona have money to spend on the Neymar deal. They are looking for a replacement. What do you say to Chelsea fans who will be reading and hearing and seeing that Barcelona would like Eden Hazard? <laughs> no, but, <laughs> we, <laughs> we are trying to buy the players, not to sell. Eh? <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> the number uh, is, uh, is always less and uh, we are in trouble. No, but uh, <laughs> uh, I think I think uh, uh, these uh, these are rumors, and uh, Eden uh, is uh, is very happy to stay with uh, with us uh, to to play with Chelsea and uh, to start uh, the new season to recover from his injury, and then to start uh, the season with uh, with us. I think uh, I think so. Okay, Martin. Hi, Antonio. Hey. Just Moses, who can play on Sunday but can't play against Burnley. Will you, at any point during the match on Sunday, look at the alternative for the first league game for hmm. the right wing back position? Yeah, it, it's right. Uh, I think it's right to uh, uh, to go game by game, by game no? in this case, uh, and uh, I will play on Sunday against. Uh, Arsenal and uh, I'm pleased that to uh, that I can count about uh, about Moses for sure against Barley and uh, Moses uh, uh, will miss this uh, this game 
Uh, but uh, yeah, I'll have uh, one week, six days to try the, the best solution because now for sure uh, we haven't an, uh, an alternative to, to Moses. Uh, we are trying to, to find the right alternative. But in, uh, in six days, I think that uh, I have to, to find the, the right solution to, uh, yeah, to avoid, to create a problem uh, to our team, no? Yes, George. Antonio, um, last time Chelsea won the title, they, how do you prevent what happens to Jose Mourinho after the 10 games after they won the title? How is that not going to happen to you? How, how do you avoid that? Bad, the bad uh, season of 10th position. Uh, yeah, and uh, uh, we all know, we all know uh, uh, what happened uh, two, two seasons ago. And uh, for this reason, uh, uh, it will be very important to try to, uh, to avoid, to avoid uh, uh, the bad season. And uh, for sure we have to to work, to continue to work very hard, to try to work harder than the last uh, last season, uh, to try to improve, to continue to improve uh, every single players, and uh, and also with transfer window, uh, we have to try to to improve our team and our squad. Uh, but uh, it's normal. It's normal to uh, to be a bit afraid. And uh, to to repeat uh, uh, a bad season, no? also because uh, uh, last season it happened the same uh, to Leicester after uh, winning the title. And uh, in Italy uh, there is uh, this uh, uh, um, there isn't two w without three. Carlo, yeah, yeah it's good. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, uh, and <laughs> we must pay great attention. Yes, for for this. Also changed formation last season. Any plans to do the same, or are you going to stick to the same formation? Yeah. But uh, after after a good season, I think that uh, you have to to keep the positive things uh, and to try to change the negative things. One uh, one positive thing uh, for sure was uh, our our formation, our our system. And now uh, yeah, we are trying to to continue to, to work in this system and to try to improve because uh, every system uh, uh, needs to improve uh, season by season, year by year. And can I just ask you last one about Nemanja Matic? Some people were surprised you sold him to Manchester United as a Sheffield rival. What was the reasoning behind that? Mm, no, but uh, uh, you have to, uh, to ask to the club about this. Uh, Simon, please. Antonio, hi there. Um, what are your thoughts about the comments from Diego Costa's lawyer about the way Costa's been treated, the fact he wants to handle the transfer requests? Oh, yeah. Again, again, yeah. I have to repeat the same, the same things. Yet. But uh, for me, it's, uh, it's uh, very <coughs> simple, the situation, and uh, I repeat what I said. Uh, in the past, uh, maybe uh, 10 days ago, that uh, uh, the player, uh, his agent and the club knew very well uh, uh, the future of the player in the summer. They knew very well. For sure, uh, I, uh, I don't understand uh, uh, why lawyers get involved. I don't understand this, but I repeat, the, the situation is very clear and uh, is always the same. If, uh, so if, if I may, I'll just say something on behalf of the club. <clears throat> we don't usually uh, respond to comments of this nature, but I think it's important we do on this occasion because the premise the lawyer has put forward is just wrong. As Antonio said, and I think it's worth repeating, is that the decision on Diego was made back in January. The player knew the decision, his agent knew the, pl uh, the decision. Um, clearly the lawyer uh, has not been well informed. Um, so the lawyer's argument that Antonio as a coach has forced the player out by a text message uh, in June is just nonsense. Uh, and I think as a club we're going to leave it there and I think Antonio's made it clear because he will only repeat uh, what he said already 
uh, on the Diego issue, we'll leave it there and we'll just have to see what the window brings. Okay, so it's not worth asking then. It, it's not a distraction then, all this Diego. It's not a unwelcome distraction for you. Uh, for me, no. For me, this is the past. Can you say if um, Alvaro and Rafter will start on Sunday? Uh, I, I have, a, I have a another another day to make uh, to make the best decision and uh, above all for for the start eleven. Uh, Alvaro is uh, is working very well and for sure is uh, is trying to uh, to reach the the best physical condition. Also, to is working uh, to um, to go into to our idea of football. And uh, he needs he needs a bit of time, and uh, before to to be ready uh, to do this. But uh, he's working very well, and uh, I don't know I don't know um, which will be my decision uh, on Sunday. But for sure he's a he's a, a really good player, and also he's a, he's a really good uh, good person. Matt, please. Will Kennedy be? Uh, uh, about Kennedy, but uh, are you asking me this question? Uh, uh, why? Are you asking me? Because of the events of the summer and on the pitch as well. Last season, he didn't play an awful lot. So, does he have a? Will he be in the squad on Sunday? And will he can he carry on with Chelsea? Hey, but I, I think I think uh, that uh, uh, Kennedy uh, and last season. Uh, yeah, didn't play no. Before uh, he went alone uh, uh, to Watford, and he played only 20 minutes. And then, uh, when uh, he uh, went back uh, with Chelsea, uh, he, he played only only one game and uh, a part of the game in uh, Carling Cup. I think uh, for for him uh, to for his uh, uh, develop. Is uh, is very important to find the right solution and uh, to go to play regularly, and uh, uh, yeah, I think it's all. Okay. Yes. Had a question. Beginning of the new season, how important is the game? Yeah, it's an important game. It's an important game because uh, uh, it's uh, it's always uh, important to win and to start the season with uh, with a win. Above all, if uh, you are playing for uh, for a trophy, and uh, this uh, the first trophy in uh, in uh, in this season, and uh, for sure uh, we have. Uh, we must have the, the will, the will to try to, to win the game, and uh, the game uh, uh, won't be easy. But we have to try. We have to try to to start in the right way. We have to try to to play uh, a good football, and uh, yeah. But I think it's uh, is an important game. Yes, sir. Antonio, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, you played with uh, Bacioia and Morata together. What do you think about them playing together? Do you think they can? Uh, yeah, in this moment, uh, in this moment, uh, 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 this could be uh, a possibility also because uh, when uh, 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 you have uh, uh, Hazard uh, injured uh, and Pedro injured, uh, and uh, uh, I don't see other options, and uh, you have only Williams. And uh, for this reason, I tried uh, to, to find uh, these, uh, these combinations, these, uh, uh, to play with these two players. Yes, this could be uh, uh, an option for, uh, for, for me, but uh, for sure, uh, uh, Alvaro, uh, I want to play like uh, number nine, but uh, his characteristic, uh, in his characteristics, yeah, he could play also uh, like number 10. <coughs> Yeah, final question, please. Last season, Arsenal beat you and you changed your tactics and went on a fantastic run to the title. At the end of the season, Arsenal beat you again. Has that affected you in terms of the tactics that you're going to be using on Sunday? Uh, 
mandate for the community schools? And finally, has the Neymar sale affected financial fair play once and for all? How do you see it affecting uh, the English school? Um, yeah, uh, Sunday, Sunday's game, uh, uh, yeah, then uh, it will be very important. Uh, uh, the players, the players, uh, and uh, to find the right, uh, uh, the right play, and uh, yeah, for sure, uh, Arsenal changed uh, his uh, their uh, system uh, uh, during uh, during the season. Uh, yeah, my expectation to see a, a really good game, and uh, also uh, yeah, a really good game uh, between two two strong teams. About Neymar. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if uh, this uh, this could affect the, f the financial fair uh, fair play. Uh, I don't know. I think I I replied uh, also before uh, this question. Okay, great. Thanks, everybody. Let's turn cameras off, please, and we'll move.